hello guys welcome to this video so in this video i'm going to show you the difference between the mongoose for node.js driver and also the mongodb default uh, driver of node.js right so this video have created two applications right one for the mongodb driver and the other one for mongoose driver so that it would help you to understand the basic differences between the two drivers so i have two applications for you to help you understand what is the use of creating mongoose schemas and models right so the first application have used a uh, mongodb as the node.js driver so when i go to package.json we see mongodb right so in this application, I am connecting with the MongoDB uh, Atlas server with the help of this URI. I have already shown you in one of my videos. So I am connecting to the database called Daily Tracker and uh, I am connecting to the collection called exp Expense and storing three records here. So if you can see, I have the first record which is total budget is 1,20,000 spent for grocery amount spent 3,000 day Sunday here 2022 paid type cash and remaining amount is this amount when you take the second record you see some extra fields like date month username and city that did not exist in the first record right so this data as some extra fields when compared with the first record and if you see this data we don't have username and city here so i'm going to execute i mean i'm going to run this application right so we know node app.js so when i execute it, it when i run this application the application creates three records right these three records in the mongodb and it sends back their corresponding ids as the output okay so now i go to the database and i click on apply so we see three records right so the first record is this and the second record has a few more data the third record does not have username and city right so you're already seeing there are inconsistency in the data that are created in this collection right so imagine when this application goes to production and when users varies the data with the help of username field it will result in consistency as the two records did not have the username field in it so this is where the inconsistency of data occurs and we can handle this with the help of mongoose to manage this inconsistency in the, in the application right so we use something called mongoose a node.js driver which helps us to create a schema right so schema is nothing but a set of rules we can enforce on our database the application level right the application layer so that the data will not be inconsistent also it avoids the unnecessary data being added to the database right so i'm going to show an example for it we have an another application here where i have created the models right so if you see here uh, for each uh, data right for each data I have created a column like this in which I have specified a rule called required right so I have said required true and whenever this field or this uh, column is not getting data 
it is going to send us this message and also it is not going to allow us to insert the record without having this particular field right so similarly have i have set the uh, uh, rules for other fields for spent for amount spent right so you see day does not have any enforcement and date month here right and remaining amount right also when i send the fields that do not exist in this model or in the schema mongoose automatically identifies that and removes it from the what database okay so i am going to execute this and show you right so here i have returned the controllers for creating a record and the particular route to handle this particular request comes from the database right so whenever the request comes with the url like this x1/v1 we are going to route that request to this route right and we are going to insert it by using this expense.create right so model.create is nothing but creating the record in the database so we are going to we are going to get the data by using request.body right so i'm going to show you how it works so i'm going to the postman and i have this api ready right so i'm going to uh, send this record first or uh, not this record i am going to send this record so when i send this record and i click on send you see we got success true and this particular record is been inserted to the database so when i go here i go to this collection so we see this record has been added to the database right perfect uh we don't find any issues while inserting this record so similarly i'm going to add this day record okay so i'm going to the postman and i'm going to replace it with this record right so when i click on send it also got inserted but you should note one thing that this record has username as shakti and city chennai but the data that got inserted did not have this extra record right so this is what i wanted to show you guys so whatever i have said i have mentioned in the model right so when i go to model i don't have a username and the city field right so mongoose automatically detects the unwanted records and it will not insert the record that is not that do not belong to the model but it inserts the remaining records so you can see it inserted the remaining record and it neglected this these two uh fields right so when i go to the database and click on apply you see there are two records now right so we don't find username and city here okay so i am going to insert an uh, another record so this record right so i'll go to the postman so when i click on send this time i see error so sorry i need to remove this comma so when i click on send so i see could not get response right so i am going to the back end 
so i should see the error in the console right so guys i have not handled it with error handler so the app got crashed here so that is not required for us in this video so i have not added error handler here but you should see the message that date is required right so we don't have date in the model we have specified date as a required column right required is true so we see this message and what else we see month is required in the model we have specified month is true yeah these two are required so we get the message that these two fields are required and also this request have not inserted that record to the database right we see we we'll, we still see only two records in this collection perfect so guys um hope you understood the use of mongoose models and schemas right but guys you should understand one thing that mongoose cannot be implemented in all types of applications okay so i will take open weather map as example right so if you take applications like open weather map the data that you see cannot be consistent because it records the real time weather data as we all know weather cannot be always consistent today you see some fields and tomorrow uh say if storm occurs right new fields will be added to this data automatically like storm distance uh storm wind speed etc right so using mongodb default driver is advised for these cases and mongos cannot be used in these types of real time applications as we cannot enforce schemas in real time applications like this because as i already said we do not know what types of fields will get added to this data at what point of time so mongos can be used in applications where we exactly know the fields and also the application data does not change over time okay so hope you understood where to use mongos and where to use mongodb okay so i think this video helped you in understanding the difference between the mongodb node.js driver and the mongoose node.js driver i will see you in the next video with an interesting topic like this thank you guys we will see the next video